I had a baby in April and I would love to say that that is all baby weight, but really the truth is I lost all of my baby weight and then just gained it all back. Because we were just sitting at home. So through the month of January, this 28 day challenge, I lost 13 and a half pounds. And I'm, I feel so much better. Thank you, it was so good. And you know what, it couldn't have come at, the, at a better time after the, like the holidays and just all of everything that happened with all the lockdowns in 2020. I needed a fresh start and I'm so competitive. So this just gave me that extra ammunition that I needed to really like kick it into gear. Cause it wasn't happening when I was just trying to do it by myself. But I've been active my whole life. I've been doing boot camps, whether it's with you or like who I was with previously for, you know, four to six times a week. I was always doing that and training hard, but I was always using it as an excuse to eat really hard as well. So I would do a really good workout and then you're like, okay, well I can eat whatever I want or I can have as many glasses of wine as I want. And, uh, after two kids where that just stopped being true and I was like putting weight on a lot faster than I was before or I ever had, but it was a so lifestyle challenge and I really needed something to just like change my relationship with food instead of always using food as a reward for like making it to the end of the day or doing a really tough boot camp. I needed to start using food to fuel my body and this really helped me do that. It was needed to really detox all the sugar and everything out of my body of the day. So what was leaving me completely hungry and wanting more at the beginning by the end I felt like I was actually leaving snacks and things on the table because I just didn't, I wasn't hungry. I didn't feel like I needed it. So it, it was a really good reset for my body. And I think just eating like real unprocessed foods had a lot to do with that. Um, one thing that I learned like through this was just, you know, the difference in how many calories is in a volume of food. So I, I'm, I'll get the actual things wrong, but like two tablespoons of olive oil, 250 calories, eight cups of broccoli, 250 calories. What's gonna make you feel fuller longer? Like you probably won't even finish eight cups of broccoli, right? Because that's just too much. So just rethinking about things like that and how I made my food really, really helped. I, I really took what you wanted this challenge to be in terms of a lifestyle change to heart. So it wasn't just, okay, I'm gonna go crazy for 28 days and then go back to what I was doing before. I'm, I'm gonna keep it up, you know, once you start doing something, they say like after a little while, it becomes a habit. It just, I wasn't even thinking about it anymore, right? Like I would come downstairs with my gym clothes on, get everybody ready, make sure everyone was starting their day and then go downstairs and work out. And I would be like doing my warm up, doing some jumping jacks and be like, oh, how did I even get down here? Like it just became second nature. Okay, this I can't not train at all. So I need to give this a try. And I've been really, really impressed with the energy of the trainers and um, just the, how you can really get the same feeling of that in-person bootcamp where the trainers are still talking to you, they're calling you by name, you can hear them engaging with other people. Um, they're still giving you that coaching when you're doing the, like the live coached ones. Um, so I felt like I wasn't compromising anything in terms of like the value of what you get from doing a small boot camp class where people are actually making sure that you're doing everything correctly too. Um, and with the music and like the setup, it, it I was actually really surprised. Like if someone is nervous about doing the virtual versus in person, I would say just give it a try, like stick it out for a week and see how you feel. Cause I think you'll be surprised. Like I know a lot of people who's, who went virtual who before wouldn't, you know, wouldn't give it a try. Um, and then just to give yourself an, uh, some sort of like physical environment that is conducive. So um, for me, it was just like putting down some rubber mats in the basement where I could close the door and really just like, you've heard me say that before, but just protect my time, right? Whether it's the actual time to the workout, uh, cause it gets really distracting on a weekend but, like when the kids are coming down. So I try as much as possible to be in a separate space. Give it a try, try and lean on whoever you can to make sure that time is yours in a separate space, separate home. So 
through the month of January, this 28 day challenge, I lost 13 and a half pounds. And I'm, I feel so much better. Even if that number was like five or 10, I look and feel so much better. I put even just pajama pants on that I haven't worn in a long time, fallen off. Like I, I don't know, there's whatever the number is, there's nothing that can compare to just that feeling of like, confidence when you start to put your clothes back on that you haven't been able to wear in a while please go ahead and try it like I've done a number of different boot camps I've done you know Sean T's um, Insanity Max 30 like I've done all of those workouts and what I find is that at a certain point you just start to get really bored with what you're doing and when you get bored you lose motivation and then you don't see results um, Paul I've been doing your boot camps like a little bit over a year now a year and a, almost a half maybe and i have never been bored even when i'm training five days a week they're always different always a different energy so I would just say like if you're nervous about it take the plunge and give it a try i've done it with barely any equipment so it's not like you have to have a full gym set up at home <laughs> use anything heavy that you can use or not just body weight just you know just jump in and give it a